only the mankind in this universe apart from the other species the progress to the level of uh, establishment development and prosperity which is not there for the other members of this global community they are very much framed within their survival which has a, a limited means of exhibition of their instinctive desire and achievement of the same so it is very much limited and only the human beings they are having trans survival measures apart from survival they want establishment they want a comparative and absolute prosperity competitive prosperity so lot of these instincts are only there in the advanced human beings so whenever these type of the resources of the world in various forms human being already it has been told and very equally experienced also that out of his uh, special supremacy as he considers himself to be the superior most person of all of the species he considers each and every entity except him to be a source for his survival and development so either he explores experiments or exploits them for his development and within the human community also each human being considers the other person to be explored experimented or exploited for his development so it is also the mankind totally having a special supremacy and also some kind man considering other men to be the sources of exploitation for his own growth and development so this type of human beings in various forms with various caliber acumen and application that is each and every human being they will be limited with their own resources either intellectual resources physical resources circumstantial resources each and everybody may not be equal to the other likewise each and every person's competition and collective productivity creates lot of cleavages between their economical levels so the economy of nation the fiscalism of the trade and the monetarism of each and every family and the financial position of regions are all controlled by only the dominant people and the dominant people if they are benevolent they used to support the other people who are insufficient in resources and if it goes to the malevolent people it becomes a process of squeezing the other people so support if it is in the beneficial hand squeeze if it is in the maleficial hand so always the society has been planned in such a way that it is either a selective monopoly or a collective monopoly so it is unavoidable so such type of people taking this result of resources and continuously engage in the process of conception without caring much for the preservation reservation conservation and multiplicity that will create lot of imbalances in the society so first what we have to understand is whenever we are getting into a global entity or a global venture the more we learn about the global venture there we are benefited or at least secure so these type of imbalances they start with insufficiency and end in crisis insufficiency is the inadequacy that is available in the minutest order and crisis whenever if it affects millions of people and the impact of which shall take decades together for reconsideration and balancing that is known as crisis that which affects deeply that which affects millions of people and the restoration process of which shall take more than a decade time consuming uh, mass consuming and impact consuming such effects are known as crisis so a small insufficiency in a very boosted and uh, in a permeable scope that gives you crisis now the world is facing three major crises one is the food crisis second is the energy crisis and third is the water crisis based upon all of these things only the independence and sovereignty and healthy economy between these things only they determine the development of companies where we are having the dividends in the form of stock values so directly the domestic factors and the transnational factors there are two factors of study domestic factors they can be easily governed as we are the policy makers and we have our own lobby here but when we are subjected to dependent economy it is known as dependent growth strategy 
then immediately it is very difficult unless it is organized in a transnational or international scale. Food crisis is very major. See, it is known as anticipatory and predictive forces. There are three forces. One is whenever we are subjected to any problem, any crisis, that crisis that occurs now, it is known as contemporary or current. That which is about to occur, which can be understood by the global scenario, it is known as anticipatory, at any time it may happen. Predictive means by lot of the factors. For example, if a child is playing near the fire, then the impending danger is understood, that is known as predictive. If a lady who is near a lamp, if the border of the catches fire, that is anticipatory. So, depending upon the ratio or gravity of the impending danger, the prediction or the anticipatory system is understood. Anticipation is, it has started and it will end. Before even getting started, the predictive systems by means of symptomic study and analysis that gives you a lot of factor. So, this type of growth, one area, we are seeing number of buildings. There are three markets. The basic market is known as food market. Second thing is real estate or land market and third thing is the stock value market. So whenever we are seeing in some area big new companies, new MOs, lot of multinational companies launching in India and lot of Indians getting good jobs at multinational companies even abroad. So this type of atmosphere that shows utmost richness in one area. Why BMW it has launched this company here? Bentley why it is going to start its assembly here? Why Rolls Royce even the most famous car which is the dream of each and every car lover of the world why is willing to establish these things here because of its availability of proper resources of purchase certainly but it is only one side moment and the other side there is also lot of other crises which i have explained the previous year it saw 75 millions of people who are very much suffered with lack of proper nutrition and due to hunger so these type of food that is the basic value of the stock that is known as the livestock and the lively stock and the livelihood stock different types of stocks are there so the basic materials due to various other methods for example there are a lot of subsidies given subsidies is not only encouragement but it induces sluggardishness and irresponsibility and number two mainly due to this petroleum price hike and third thing is food and fuel. Now there is a combat between food and fuel. It has been told in one recent analysis that a person's annual consumption of maize, if it is converted into fuel, it can fill a tank of a car just at all. So to fill a tank of a car, we require the annual consumption of a person, one time filling. So these edibles basically meant for our consumption and development, they are converted into cultivation of more things which are utilized for fuel extraction. Those fuels are very much meant for consumption which are diverted for these fuels and it has a very, very, very infinitesimal proportion when it is there for human consumption, if it is for fuel adoption, it is a voracious eater which is, exploits all the resources of cultivation. There are lot of such things are there. So unless a person understands the global crisis of food, energy, 2010 is the year of water crisis. And the energy crisis 2015 they announced, but they have somehow announced 2020 is going to be a prosperous year. I don't know how it is possible. So this is how we have to understand these three major things. Now let us come to the current status of inflation that wounds the Indian economy. Inflation is no doubt, you know that there are a lot of economical imbalances such as deflation, inflation, hyperflation, stagnation, recession, innumerable abnormities are there in economy and inflation is always defined as the rise of increase in the price of goods and services which underestimates or undervaluates the unit of currency. The value of a currency, that is the unit of currency is totally minimized by means of this inflation. So this type of inflation, no doubt it is very essential in refrigerators you might have seen don't be afraid of the heat that is stimulated from this refrigerator which is very unavoidable for the functions inside and it is very harmonious and salubrious 